Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. So today we will be making nachos, but we're not making just any ordinary nachos because we will be using gochujang. And you're like, what? So, gochujang is a Korean red pepper paste. It is a staple ingredient in Korean cuisine. And if you've never tried gochujang, you must because it is unlike the other hot sauce condiments that you may be familiar with. Gochujang is very creamy, it's velvety, and it just has this uh, depth of flavor. It's not one of the spicy condiments where you put in your mouth and you're like immediately in shock of like, <gasps> Oh my god that's spicy and the more you eat it it gives you more flavor and depth so with gochujang you can make a variety of dishes i mean this is a staple ingredient in korean cuisine where you use it to make stews to soups to sauces to dressings that you use over noodles to salads it goes on and on for nachos you're saying how are you going to use gochujang for your nachos well, what I like to do is instead of putting sour cream on your nachos, I like to use fresh creme with gochujang. Mix it up, these two guys together, creme fresh and gochujang together. It is divine. It is like a perfect marriage. They just belong together. And if you eat this with nachos, oh geez, I mean, do I need to say more? Why would you not want to eat this? So right now I'm drooling in my own mouth thinking about putting these two ingredients together and using it for nachos. So, so this is a perfect game food and I know it's football season right now, but it doesn't have to be football season to enjoy nachos at home. And I like to make my nachos slightly healthy with loads and loads of beans. And I usually make this maybe on a Friday or Saturday night when I don't really want to make dinner. So I make a mountain of nachos and my kids love it my husband loves it and guess what i don't have to make dinner so it's a great weekend a heavy snack that you could serve to your friends and family now if you want to buy gochujang you could go to any korean supermarket there will be an aisle dedicated just to gochujang so there's different sizes and varieties that you could choose or you could order this online. So if you go to my description box below, I will have links for you to purchase this online, as well as if you go to my website at modernpepper.com, I will have a separate blog for this recipe with a list of all the ingredients and online links for you to purchase this along with the other ingredients and kitchen gadgets that you will need. I am so excited to share this nachos recipe with you. So let's get started on making our nachos. Now I like to load up my nachos with a lot of beans. So I have two cups of pinto beans, two cups of black beans, and two cups of garbanzo beans. These are canned, so make sure to put in a strainer and run it through cold water to remove all the excess starch from the canned beans. Now, if you're interested in using dried beans at home to make this, please make sure to visit my blog for this recipe at modernpepper.com where I will have instructions and ingredients to cook the dried beans at home, okay? So I'm gonna place all these beans in a big bowl like so, and then we're gonna just gonna add a few ingredients. I have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I have a tablespoon of finely chopped green onions. I also have quarter teaspoon of dried oregano and half a teaspoon of sweet paprika. I mean, look at this already. Look how pretty this looks already. And we're gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add about two good pinches. That's probably about half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna gently mix it just fold it over. Mmm, you can smell the garlic and the fresh onions and the paprika. Ooh, smells so yum. We're gonna add some freshly ground black pepper. About 10 turns on your pepper mill. And we're gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil. Fold over all the ingredients like so. Wow, this smells incredible already. Okay, so I'm gonna just have a taste. You should always taste what you make, okay? That's my philosophy when it comes to cooking. Mmm, mm, so yum. The beans are so creamy. There's just perfect amount of salt and the onions add this nice, fresh, refreshing fragrance and you could taste a little bit of the garlic powder and the paprika we added and then the olive oil just adds a nice buttery taste to it. This is so good. Now you can make this 
a day in advance and just keep it in your refrigerator if you're gonna have a party and you just don't wanna do this on the day of. Now, we're gonna get started on building our mountain of nachos. So what I have is a sheet of parchment paper and just a flat baking sheet. If you, this is your first video with me, I always like to cook with these disposable kitchen gloves because I just hate handling, you know, acidic food and having my skin get all raw. So, I love these and if you are interested in saving your hand, I highly recommend using this. I will have links for you to purchase these gloves in my description box below and also on my blog for this recipe at modernpepper.com. So make sure to check it out. And so let's start building our mountain of nachos. Add a layer of tortilla chips like so. Add some of the beans that we made. I mean, these beans smell so good. They would just be so good as is too. And then I have some shredded Mexican blend cheese. And you could use any cheese of your choice, it's up to you. And you could add as little cheese as you want to. So for those of you who are a bit conscious about your calorie intake, add, just add a little, don't add a lot. And just continue building. We are almost to the top of our mountain of nachos. So you could keep on going and make it as tall as you want, but I think for me, I reached my maximum height. I'm just putting the extra cheese around the base, around our mountain. Now, like I said earlier, you could put as little cheese as you want if you want to save some calories or just go all out. You know, I mean, you don't have nachos every day, so once in a while, when I do have it, I like to just enjoy it as is with all the necessary calories that we need. But we're gonna be using creme fraiche, which is better for you than sour cream, or at least that's what I tell myself when I eat it. Make sure your mountain is the height that you want it to be. Now you could go higher if you have a bigger base, but for me, this is a perfect size for my household. So make sure to preheat your oven at 300 degrees. We're gonna keep it in there for 20 minutes. And we just want the cheese to melt and the chips to kind of heat up so it's nice and warm. Let's get these guys in the oven. While our mountain of nachos are in the oven, melting away nicely, we're gonna start preparing our salsa. Now you can make the salsa at home, which I'm gonna show you, which is super easy or you could go and grab yourself a tub of salsa. I mean, do what's easy for you, I say. But if you're gonna make it, this is a quick recipe that I learned from one of my favorite, favorite taquerias here in San Francisco at La Taqueria. Their salsa is like super simple, but it's, I think, the tastiest out of all because the simplicity is just divine. So you need about four of these small to medium sized tomatoes. And then we're gonna use less than a quarter of a medium sized red onion. And then we just need a handful of fresh cilantro. I mean, this is a must, cilantro is Oh, it smells so good. It just wakes you up and it just smells kind of peppery and at the same time like lemony and it smells so good. I love it. But if you don't like cilantro, because I know I have a lot of friends that love Mexican food, but they kind of don't like the taste of fresh cilantro. So if that's the case, then you use Italian flat leaf parsley or you could use green onions of the green parts only. So first take your tomato, cut it in half, take out the base part here, take a spoon and remove the inside where the seed is and the soft part of the tomato. So hollow it out like so, like that. And for this recipe, I wouldn't use any tomatoes that are super ripe. Just get something that's just fresh that you would be happy and it still has a little bit of firmness. And then we're gonna discard this part and we're just gonna cut it into strips and then turn it to the side and then just cut them into little pieces. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like that and then put it in our bowl here. So I already diced up three tomatoes. There we go, we're almost done dicing up our tomatoes and put it in a bowl and onto our red onion. So what you wanna do is keep it flat and you wanna take your knife and go across like so. And then again, 
You don't have to go all the way because we're gonna use less than half of this. We're probably gonna use about a third of this because we need about two tablespoons of finely diced red onion. And then make your cuts like so. Use your finger to hold your onion firmly. And then some parts already fell out, which is fine. Well, that's perfect. And we're just gonna hold it and then just slice it down to make our little tiny diced up red onions. So we just need two big tablespoons of freshly diced red onions. Put it in the bowl right here. And then we need a handful of fresh cilantro. Bunch them up together like that, as small as possible, and just roughly just chop them like that. And then go across. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of fresh cilantro. Okay, and then we're gonna add this to our bowl. So look at this, look how pretty this looks already. Three big pinches of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. About 10 turns on your pepper mill like so. And using a spoon, we're just gonna toss it. Look at the colors. God, it's so vibrant. I wish you could smell this. The smell of fresh salsa is amazing. We need one small lime or half of a big lime. And I'm gonna use a juicer. So when you use a juicer, put the flesh citrus part down to where the hole is, like that. And then you press it down and squeeze. and then squeeze the second one and then just mix it. Oh, this smells so good, so I have to taste it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the diced up fresh tomatoes and some onion and cilantro. Mm. I wanna eat my nachos now actually. This with nachos, warm cheesy nachos, oh yum. Okay. Mm. The lime juice, and then it's like the perfect amount of saltiness together with the fresh onions and the tomatoes. This is so simple, so good. You could put it in your refrigerator for about a good 30 minutes to an hour. This is something that I would not make overnight because if you let the tomatoes sit with the lime juice and the salt for a little too long, then it'll get a little too soggy. And the reason why I like this fresh salsa is because the tomatoes are still a little firm, so it tastes very watery and refreshing when you bite into it as opposed to those salsas that are completely all mushed up and really soft. And those are good too, but I like it sort of this fresh way. I would only make this about an hour at most before you need to serve it, but put it in your refrigerator. Now on to making our guacamole. Now you could just go grab a tub of guacamole and call it a day. Or you could make this, and this is super, super simple recipe and there's nothing complex about it, so let's get started. Now moving on to our star topping, gochujang with creme fraiche. These two guys together, if you've never tried, is amazing. It's so good. Uh, who doesn't like creme fraiche? And then you add gochujang together, it's just a perfect combination. So let's get started. So I have two cups of creme fraiche. We're gonna add a tablespoon of Korean red pepper paste called gochujang. I'm just gonna mix this all up. Ooh, look at the colors changing already. It's so pretty. Mm. This would be just good as a vegetable dipping too, my goodness. You know, instead of that boring sort of 
flat, creamy, sour cream taste. And for me, I mean, this is such a big hit when I make for, you know, friends when they come over for parties and stuff. And it's so easy to make. Oh, wow, this looks so good. Look at the color too, it's such a pretty color. Okay, it's done mixing. Look at that, yum. Now, before we taste our crème fraîche with gochujang, I just wanted to reach out to my friends out there that are looking to cut calories here and there. I completely get it. I mean, you have to do it here and there or else just all the calories kind of catch up with you. So what you could use instead of crème fraîche is whole milk Greek yogurt. It is creamy, it is still tangy. It certainly is a little bit less in calories and fat compared to crème fraîche. Of course, crème fraîche is a bit more luxurious when it comes to that creamy, yummy, yummy taste. But this is a great alternative if you're looking to cut some calories. I would definitely use whole milk Greek yogurt. It's time for us to taste. You have to taste what you make, right? I mean, what's the fun of cooking if you don't taste it? So, just a little. Oh my God, it's so good. The creme fraiche is so creamy, but at the same time, it has this really refreshing aftertaste, as opposed to like sour cream, so creamy, yummy, but it still leaves you that heavy, creamy taste in your mouth. But creme fraiche, on the other hand, gives you that buttery, creamy taste, but the aftertaste is so clean and so light. And then you add the gochujang, which gives you this like velvety, spicy aftertaste. So it's not super spicy at all. So this with your melted nachos would just be like bananas, bananas. <laughs> So, I can't wait to get all of our toppings onto our mountain of nachos. Yay! So look at our mountain of nachos. Look, the cheese has melted perfectly. It's nice and golden brown. Oh boy, this is gonna be so good. So let's get started on putting our toppings on our mountain of nachos. This is gonna be so good. First, take your guacamole. Take our Crème fresh with gochujang. Oh, look how luxurious that looks. Right here, just nestle it right next to the guacamole. Like so. Here's our freshly made salsa. And then we're gonna just take a spoonful and then just lay it right here. And put some around the base. Oh, this smells so good. Let's top off our mountain with some more guacamole, like that. And then, right next to the guacamole, a little bit more. Two thinly sliced peppers, like so. I think I've died and gone to nacho heaven. So look at our mountain of nachos. Oh, yum, look at that. All right, somebody has to make sure this tastes good. I'll volunteer just for you. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, look. Mm. Wow, that is delicious. First of all, the tortilla chips, they're nicely warm with a little bit of cheese. And then you have the cold, freshly made salsa where the tomatoes are still firm, so it's kind of like bursting in your mouth and the guacamole adds that really nice creamy taste. And then the creme fraiche takes it to another level of that buttery, refreshing, creamy taste in your mouth with that gochujang that just gives you a little bit of that spicy boost. It's not super spicy. So it's just a little bit of that spicy taste with your creme fraiche all together in your mouth. It's just, I mean, what can I say other than it's super yummy. I mean, this is, one of my go-to appetizers that I make when my friends come over, and I also make it for my children's friends too. I mean, it's just a favorite appetizer for kids and adults, so you have to make this for your next Super Bowl party or for just the weekend. I mean, this is my go-to, super easy, and it's loaded with protein too, with all the beans that we added earlier. And for those of you that are looking to cut calories, instead of using creme fraiche, use whole milk, Greek yogurt, and then if you want to take it to another level of cutting calories, instead of using tortilla chips, 
use pita chips. Yes, you could use pita chips instead of tortilla chips if you are avoiding fried chips, okay? So pita chips also come nicely seasoned and whole wheat with flax seeds and such. So if you want to take your nachos to another level of yumminess while making it a little bit more healthier for you, use pita chips. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please also do check out my other video on Korean chicken wings which is so yummy and you could totally make it at home. It's doable and I don't fry my chicken wings. I actually bake them super crisp. So it's actually a calorie saving, super delicious Korean chicken wings without having to get all messy with fryer and cleaning up the frying oil and, and all that stuff. I mean, who likes to clean up frying oil? So check out that video because that also includes how to make your buffalo wing sauce, which is insanely simple and easy. So those Korean chicken wings and the buffalo wings recipe is another go-to if you want to put out really, really delicious appetizers for your family and friends. So make sure to check out that video. So. I highly recommend gochujang. If you've never tried it, try it. And for those of you that love gochujang, make sure to please leave me a comment and let me know why you love gochujang and also what your favorite way to enjoy gochujang is, okay? I would love to hear from everyone. And for those of you who've never tried gochujang, please try it and let me know your thoughts. And in general, I would love to hear from everybody. So please make sure to comment, let me know what you thought of the recipe. And also if you have requests for future video recipes, please let me know. It could be both classic Korean dishes as well as non-Korean dishes that you want to sort of add a Korean twist to. Please let me know and I would love to make those videos for you. And also if you enjoyed watching this video, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up. So make sure to please click on that thumbs up icon. Also, please share this recipe with your family and friends that are looking to make nachos with a Korean twist with the gochujang, which is so delicious. And lastly, I would greatly, greatly love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking on that pink button, which is at the corner right here. It's in a rectangular shape that says subscribe. If you would click on that and subscribe to my channel, because I would love to connect with you once a week because Thursday's a day that I upload new videos. So please do subscribe to my channel. So until next time, happy, happy nacho time with Korean gochujang creme fraiche topping. I hope you enjoy this and I will see you next Thursday. Bye now.